Hey, Salvador Raven here. Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Demystified YouTube channel. So I already have a really good long tutorial video out there about Indiegogo going through the entire ways to start a new um, platform, or sorry, a new, a new campaign. But in today's video, I wanna go through each section and this is gonna be a new series, right? For Indiegogo, the Indiegogo dashboard, essentially, and going over this in a more in-depth um, information and advice. So we're gonna get into that in just a second. Okay, let's start with the basics, right? So basics is um, when you're introducing your campaign to a new audience, how do you actually begin to do this? So with the basics section, first of all, we're gonna go through your campaign title. What is the title of your campaign? You have 50 characters to be able to fill in here with this. Now you can include emojis, you can include um, information here about your, your product name, so it could be product name, right? And then maybe um, big promise or one of your benefits or something like that. The best thing is just to go and look at some of the other Indiegogo campaigns that are out there, right? So let's pull that up for just a second. Okay, so we're coming up here. We can see um, some of the other Indiegogo campaigns. A lot, got a lot of great stuff. This one looks like some of them are in, in demand, right? So In Charge X, um, the Swiss Army Knife of Cables. I believe I actually interviewed these guys on my podcast, possibly. Uh, but Swiss Army Knife of Cables. This one also, the Elevated Cocktail Shaker. This is a $2.3 million campaign, you know? So one of the cool things you'll first notice is they always mention their company name, right? At the beginning, that's really good for SEO. And then kind of what it is or a big promise or very succinctly describe what it is. So the Swiss Army Knife of Cables already know, already have a sense of what that is going to be, right? And then in the description, they're saying tiny, universal, uh, ultra powerful key ring cable. Let's compare that. Yeah, I actually did interview those guys. Let's compare that with the Adam Craft campaign. So this is the Elevated Craft Cocktail Shaker. So the Elevated Craft Cocktail Shaper, it looks like that's actually the name of the product. Innovative tool for every home bar, vacuum insulated with patent measuring system and more, right? So if we come back here to um, the project uh, dash, we wanna have something that says the product name, something that's snappy, something that's going to get attention and very succinctly communicates it. I call that the big promise behind the project. The other is the campaign tagline. So you get about 100 characters here. And this is really where um, the, the text is being customized here. So this is innovative tool for every home bar, vacuum insulated with patent measuring system and more. This one is the most crowdfunding cable ever, um, is back, tiny, universal, ultra powerful key ring. So this, this already adds a little bit of social proof and then it goes into some of the functionality, tiny, ultra portable, right? This one just kind of goes straight a little bit to who it's for. This YouTube video is sponsored by The Gadget Flow. The Gadget Flow reaches over 28 million people and they've been around since 2012. They're Indiegogo and Kickstarter experts. They featured over 5,000 crowdfunding campaigns. If you have a tech or design campaign, it is a great platform to generate awareness and get backers. Check them out at thegadgetflow.com slash submit and list your project today. Yeah, so you can see here also vacuum insulated with patent measuring system, um, some tips and advice, uh, some, some functionality a bit there. So you're gonna include that in your project description, the tagline, and then your campaign card. And this is the image that represents your campaign. This is the resolution, the recommended resolution at the point that I'm recording this video. It might be different in the future. That little, that little image, um, is going to be this card right here that you see. So here you can see the drink shaker being poured in there. Very easy to understand what the product is. Here's another one, Bubble Hotels. You can see that there. You get a sense, gives you a very quick idea. Another thumbnail here, right? Another thumbnail here for Pop Time. Um, so some of the different projects that are here. I also actually had Pop Time on my podcast as well. <laughs> they were actually really good, uh, in, a good interview. If you haven't what, listen to that one. That one's actually not on YouTube. That's on my iTunes, my Spotify um, version of the podcast there. So that's actually a really candid teach. Like this guy was so transparent with his with his project, but that goes beyond the point. Okay, so the upload, you'll upload your, your little image there, which will then appear here, right? Um, so you could do stuff with this image, like including pricing. You could do stuff like including now on Indiegogo, um, funded in 15 minutes. That's what they chose to do was a little bit of social proof there. So make sure the card will um, uh, kind of be in line a little bit with what is what you're trying to communicate there. Next is your location. So this is gonna be visible on your campaign page. So in this one, in this case, it's Switzerland. The guys are based out of Switzerland. They actually started this company um, and they, they literally started like very small team, just really bare bones. They were able to build this over the course of time, I think around like six or seven years maybe, um, if my memory serves. 
from here, the elevated cocktail. This one is from Scottsdale, United States, right? So it's going to show there when it comes to your uh, country. Also, the category. So the category is going to be what best represents your project, essentially. So we have a like culture, creative, right, tech and innovation, all this kind of stuff. Um, so you can go and decide what category. This is going to determine a few different things. So number one, it's going to determine where you are um, appearing within the actual, kick, uh, sorry, the Indiegogo search right? So you will see some like trending campaigns like this, but you'll also see under the explore feature, if you go here, some of the different categories, right? Creative works, um, some of the finds that they have. So let's just say we do education. I love education. Obviously I'm a big, big nerd when it comes to that. And I like putting out education or like learning stuff, new things. So this would be the education category. And you can also on the left here, see all the other subcategories and stuff within the tech and innovation. Um, so this would be really important for you because then you can be discovered within that particular category, right? So if we were doing tech and we did education, then we're going to show up in the education category, right? Pretty cool. Um, and really, really exciting. Actually, I, like just even looking at some of these campaigns, I love this, the look and feel of this one. I don't know why, but purple is always like captures my attention. It's, it's something like a Royal color. I remember, um, learning about way back in the day with, with my branding. Um, with that being said, yeah, so you, you can appear here. That's also going to influence who you're competing against. Cause if you're in the audio category, naturally you're competing against other audio products, right? Same thing with food and beverage, fashion and wearables. So make sure you think a little bit about the category. And finally is the tags. Now I'm not super happy. I'm not, no, not super happy with the tags that are available on Indiegogo. Um, they're they're kind of, in my opinion, pretty bare bones. Like if you go here, you pretty much have to, you can't pick like, if I was to say, let's just say a tag of like creative, I can't create that. You see that? I can't create a tag. It's just, it's just limited the functionality there. So I actually have to pick, you have to pick one of these tags to, to choose. You can't create your own at the time I'm recording this video. Maybe after Indiegogo watches it, they'll, they'll change the functionality or something. But, um, so we just say like horror, right? And then there's some tags that you don't see that would better describe your project. So this might be like creative or, you know, whatever we want to say, uh, I don't know, like education, etc. So maybe in the future, Indiegogo is going to add those and populate this like popular ones. But for now you just kind of put it there. So, um, if you don't find your tags, you're just going to have to put them there and that's going to factor into the search rankings when people are searching something. So let's just say we were going to go here. We're going to search for uh, creative, right? We type in creative. It, it's a search function. It's a, you know, just like another type of search engine, right? People are going to come up with what are the creative projects? So how did, how does Indiegogo determine that? Well, besides having keyword tools and, and that kind of stuff, like maybe um, some keyword, like creativity, it being in your, your headline there, right? Be creative. It's also going to, the tags are going to play a part in the actual search engine, which is actually how Google actually, you know, began with their search engine. Um, and finally, the campaign duration. So this is, this in my opinion, is one of the most um, difficult uh, things to set. And I think when we were first getting started with crowdfunding, we would want to set really aggressive durations, like a 30 day duration. Um, over time, I would say my thinking towards this has, has changed a little bit. It's really about your preparedness and the, the marketing techniques you're using, right? So a 30 day campaign, I think is a really good standard amount because it gives you enough time to promote, gives you enough time to create some urgency within your backers. However, if you don't have your ducks in a row, it can be it can be very aggressive, right? And you almost wish sometimes that if you're seeing an uptick towards the end, you wish it was a bit longer. So if you are kind of on the slower side, or I notice just like, there's a lot of back and forth with a particular client or with a coaching student, and like, they're just kind of a little bit slower, I probably would recommend um, doing more of a 45 day campaign, or even if you want to a 50 day campaign. So it really depends on your approach to entrepreneurship, your, um, what you have going on in your life, and like the, the, the runway space that you want to give yourself. Remember, this is like a, a plane that is taking off. Imagine a plane taking off. Um, if you've ever watched that one movie, oh, I'm struggling to remember the name, uh, with Tom Cruise and he's like, uh, he has a plane and he loves to fly it around and will do like drug <laughs> drops. Uh, I, I have, I think it's American made American made. Is that, is that the movie? Leave it in the comment section down below if you know, but, um, he can, he can launch a plane into the air with a very short runway, which is why they call him the gringo that always delivers. Right. 
if you aren't that type of person who can really compress a lot of time and really work hard in a, in a 30 day period, then you might want to have more of a 45 or a 50 day campaign. Hope that was helpful for you. This is part of a new series I'm doing going over the entire Indiegogo dashboard. My name is Salvador Brigman. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time.